Hello all, this is Collector Man, and I collect all things entertainment related, including horror. And welcome to part 8 of my horror film collection. Yes everyone, we are 8 installments deep into my horror film collection, but what can I say, I love horror films. Uh, so this will be another 25 horror films. Uh, last time I broke it up and uh, showed off some VHS horror films, and this time it is back to the DVDs. And we will start this right off with some Friday the 13th films. Uh, the first one is the first Friday the 13th film from 1980, uh, starring Betsy Palmer. Uh, this is the deluxe edition with the lenticular cover. And I really do love the first Friday the 13th film. It is one of my favorites in the series. I uh, love uh, the killer, Pamela Voorhees. Uh, lucky enough to have met Betsy Palmer, a really nice lady. Great installment in the series. Uh, next is Friday the 13th Part 3 3D. This is also the deluxe edition with the lenticular cover. Uh, part 3 was never one of my favorites. And uh, watching it in 3D now, you really don't get the same experience as you would have in uh, the movie theater. Uh, this set contains part three and part four of the final chapter. And part four of the final chapter is actually one of my favorites in the series. I uh, love the cast in this in uh, part four. Uh, Corey Feldman is in part four. And um, it's sort of, his character is sort of an homage to Tom Savini, who also did the uh, effects. Uh, next is Friday the 13th, Part 5 and Part 6, uh, Jason Lives. Uh, the next film I have in the collection is Bram Stoker's Dracula. And this was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. And uh, this is a really great movie. I love uh, the performance of Gary Oldman. Uh, in fact, I did dress up as the um, older version of the Gary Oldman uh, Dracula for Halloween one year when I was a kid, and uh, that was pretty cool. And this movie also has Winona Ryder, who I'm also a huge fan of. Uh, really enjoy this. Uh, next is a film that I have not gotten around to watching yet. This was one that I got from the Dollar Tree a few months back, and this one is called The Banished. Uh, the cover was really intriguing, but I just haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Uh, if anyone has watched The Banished, uh, let me know if it's good. Next is Insidious Chapter 3. Uh, I love all of the Insidious movies. I'm a big fan of Lin Shay. These are paranormal type um, films. And I'm sure everyone knows about the Insidious films. There is talk, or there was talk, about making a fifth film, and I would watch a fifth film. Uh, next is uh, one that I really enjoy, The Descent. Um, and this is about a group of young women who go um, spelunking. Is that the correct term for um, going into caves? Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking spelunking is the correct term for that. But yeah, when they get down there, uh, they find some monstrous creatures. Really great movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Next is a classic that everyone knows. I have two copies of this on uh, VHS already, and this is the extended director's cut of The Exorcist. Not much to say about The Exorcist. It's a classic. Um, Ellen Burstyn, Linda Blair, um, everyone knows The Exorcist. Next is Chrome Skull, Laid to Rest 2. Uh, Laid to Rest 2 is not as good as the first Laid to Rest. I really enjoyed the first one. Uh, both of these movies, however, are more um, an homage to 80s slasher films. So they are fun in that way. Next is uh, Johnny Depp and Heather Graham uh, in From Hell. 
And this is one that uh, I don't hear too many people talking about. And this is a really good one uh, involving uh, Jack the Ripper. Really good one with great performances by uh, everyone involved. Uh, so if you have not seen From Hell, I would really uh, recommend it. Next is an anthology film called VHS. Uh, really, really good. I know that there is a sequel, and I have not seen that one yet, but this one is very good. I'm trying to think if there was actually a third put out. Um, don't know. Uh, in the comments, if anyone knows if there was a third VHS film put out, uh, let me know. This is um, an unofficial copy of this film, um, Evil Ed. Uh, some of you may have heard of Evil Ed. I believe that either Arrow or uh, Scream Factory put out an official edition of Evil Ed. Uh, this is one that I would rent a lot on VHS from the uh, rental store when I was a teenager. Really enjoyed it. Um, Evil Ed, it's a really fun one. Next is um, a Mel Brooks uh, parody, and that is Dracula, Dead and Loving It. Um, I really, really do love Dracula, Dead and Loving It. I am a huge fan of Leslie Nielsen. I realize that uh, sometimes um, Leslie Nielsen is either you love him or you hate him. Uh, it's the style of comedy, I guess, uh, and the Mel Brooks style of comedy. Um in general, that people either love or hate, but I personally love it. Um, it can be silly at times, of course, but that's what I love about it. I think uh, Leslie Nielsen makes a great Dracula, and um, all the scenes that are parodied uh, from the original Dracula are very effective and very funny. And I love the ending when um, Renfield um, pulls back one of the shingles on the roof and um, Leslie Nielsen has turned up to a bat uh, to escape the sunlight. And um, Renfield pulls back the, the roof and lets the sunlight in, therefore um, destroying his master Dracula. And as Leslie Nielsen floats down to the floor in bat form, he says, um, Renfield, you asshole! It's very funny. It always gets me every time. Uh, next is a box set. I should have showed this off in my box sets. Uh, this is one that I actually won from uh, Slaughter Ports Contest a while back. This is all of the Friday the 13th uh, films, 1 through 8, the Paramount era. Uh, and this is kind of, it's, this comes in a book form. And all the movies are housed inside of here. Uh, next is a fun one, uh, 13 Ghosts. I recently rewatched this, had a lot of fun with it. Next is not exactly horror, but I snuck this in just to get an even 25. Uh, this is Panic Room, starring uh, Jodie Foster. This is a very, very effective film, though, and uh, it's very atmospheric and it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Uh, really great movie, Panic Room, if you haven't seen this. Next is one. Um, a pretty crazy film. Uh, the back says a surprise treat, a monster movie with a rom-com heart. Uh, that is true. Uh, this is a pretty good one and it is crazy. And that is Bad Milo. If you haven't seen Bad Milo, uh, I would suggest checking it out. I think you would have a fun time with it. Uh, next is another Mel Brooks uh, parody and that is Young Frankenstein. A lot of people know Young Frankenstein. Of course, this is a classic film with Gene Wilder. So I really don't have to say that much about it. Next is um, Interview with the Vampire with uh, Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, of course. And this is based on a novel by uh, Anne Rice. And... Uh, this is a really, really good one. Um, it also stars a very young Kirsten Dunst. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this one. Next is one that I know almost nothing about. Uh, I know there was a sequel made to this film, and I think I saw the sequel. Maybe I saw the sequel and I didn't see this one. I'm not sure. Uh, the Boogeyman. 
Uh, not too sure about this one. If anyone has seen this, let me know in the comments. Next is a five film DVD collection, and that is the Phantasm films. Um, I have seen all of the Phantasm films except for Ravager. Have not gotten around to seeing that one yet. I've heard mixed things on that one, but I do really enjoy all four of the previous um, Phantasm films. Um, yeah, I enjoy the first four Phantasm films. I think the first two or three are better than probably part four, but um, yeah. The Tall Man is a classic villain. Uh, this is not really a film. This is more of a compilation. This is the uh, Boogeyman Killer Compilation. And it says the scariest boogeyman ever to appear, boogeymen, to ever appear on film together for the first time in the ultimate horror experience. So uh, this just has clips from different films such as A Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Scream, Child's Play 2, Candyman, Leprechaun, Phantasm, uh, The Dentist, I Know What You Did Last Summer, Psycho, Halloween. Uh, and it's uh, pretty much the most iconic scenes from those films in just a compilation. So this is really cool if you had a Halloween party and a projector or just a large TV to uh, play this in the background for some atmosphere. That would be really cool. Uh, next is another one that I have no idea about. I saw this a long time ago when I first put this in my collection, but I haven't seen it in years. And that is uh, Creepy Crawlers. Don't know anything about this except uh, the cover weirds me out. And uh, Dean Stockwell is in this. And lastly is a set. Uh, the Psycho 2, 3, 4, and Bates Motel uh, set. I uh, love all of these films. Uh, still haven't gotten around to watching uh, Bates Motel, but I will be very soon. And um, so that is it for the eighth installment of my horror film collection. Glad all of you could join me, and I hope to see you next time.